Hey guys, so today we're going to be checking out something that we have seen before from another creator, and this is SCP-294 The Coffee Machine, okay? So we did watch this before, and the, the example I can make of this, it's, it's absolutely perfect, is one guy can screw up everything, because some random idiot goes in there and asks for a cup of, I, I don't know if his name was Joe, or... James started with a J. Sorry, I can't remember, guys. But um, he wound up getting a cup of himself, which is relatively disgusting. I will. I'm going to want to see how the Vulgan puts this out there. But at the same time, it's fun no already knowing a little bit about two nine four before I even go in the door with it. So, um, I can be taught. It takes a while. And it takes a little bit of time for information to sink into the, into the I'm not going to say the steel trap that is my mind, because we both, we all know it's porous and leaks like a sieve. But at the same time, like, I'm watching something that I already know a little bit about. So, yay! <laughs> In any case, um, this was requested by Lore. It is the current, is currently the most requested video on the server, which, God, you guys... Wow, I am just blown away by how many requests there are right now. Um, well, what are you gonna do? You've got to, you've got to go. You just got to move on. <laughs> it's just got to be something you do. The, like I, like I said before, it's the best problem ever. Um, in any case, let's just jump into it. Let's have some fun. Here we go. The coffee machine. How do you do? Why? Here we go. Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-294. Mm -hmm. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. There are no special standard containment procedures on file for item SCP-294. However, only personnel of security clearance level two or higher are allowed to interact with it. See document SCP-294-A. SCP it is because somebody did stupid stuff with it. SCP-294 is currently being stored in the second floor personnel break room and is monitored by two guards of security clearance level three at all times. Mm -hmm. Description. Item SCP-294 appears to be a standard coffee vending machine. The only noticeable difference being an entry touchpad with buttons corresponding to an English QWERTY keyboard. Upon depositing 50 cents US currency into the coin slot, the user is prompted to enter the name of any liquid using the touchpad. Upon doing so, a standard 12 ounce paper drinking cup is placed and the liquid indicated is poured. 97 initial test runs were performed, including requests for water, coffee, beer, and soda. Non-consumable liquids such as sulfuric acid, wiper fluid, and motor oil, as well as substances that do not usually exist in liquid state, such as nitrogen, iron, and glass, and each one returned to success. Test runs with solid materials such as diamond have failed, however, as it appears that SCP-294 can only deliver substances that can exist in a liquid state. Thirsty? It is of note that after approximately 50 uses, the machine would not respond to further requests. After a period of approximately 90 minutes, the machine seemed to have restocked itself. It is also interesting to note that many caustic liquids that would have eaten through a normal paper cup seem to have no effect on the cups dispensed by the machine. Testing is ongoing. As suggested, SCP-294 was moved to the second floor personnel break room as a money-saving venture. Following Incident 29401, guards were stationed at the item and a security clearance became necessary to interact with it. Because somebody did something stupid. Document S- You know, the sheer fact that this was put there as a money-saving thing, <laughs> this is very, this is very different, <laughs> like, than what I would have done, but at the same time, I want to test those cups. CP-294A regarding Incident 2941. On August 21st, 2005, 
Agent Joseph Joe. attempted to use item SCP-294 to obtain coffee during his allocated break time at 9.30 a.m. at the request of Agent to see what it would do. Requested a cup of Joe from the item. Moments after confirming the selection, Agent Joseph began to sweat profusely and complained of dizziness before collapsing. After moving the unconscious agent to the infirmary, the medical team recovered the contents of the cup dispensed by item SCP-294, a combination of blood, tissue, and other bodily fluids. Testing revealed the DNA sequence of the biological material dispensed by SCP-294 matched that of agent. That's creepy. Agent made a complete recovery after four weeks of rest and intravenous hydration. X-rays and CAT scans showed no further signs of injury, and was released. Both agents were reprimanded. Do you think they were made D-Class? I think they might have been made D-Class. Additional security measures for SCP-294 have been recommended. Addendum SCP-294-F After reviewing documentation on SCP-294, suggested testing SCP-294's ability to retrieve specific liquids from a distance. Huh. Addendum SCP-294-H With the overseeing of O5, a cup of SCP-75 secretion was used as input. The product was proven to be the requested liquid, and the cup was able to successfully contain the material. That sounds However, disgusting. I don't believe I know what 75 is. Report for Incident 0757 was acknowledged two hours after the test. See Addendum SCP-75-M. A containment procedure breach had occurred exactly the same time this test was taking place, waking SCP-75 to its active stage. It was able to secrete an amount of basic solution equal to the capacity of a coffee cup before emergency containment procedure was applied and it was rendered passive. Lovely. The liquid was not found in post-incident investigation. You know, I really shouldn't say this because uh, I can't remember the name of the SCP. I can't right now for the life of me. I really shouldn't say they wouldn't move it to the break room because they've been eating, like one site has been eating the king of pigs, like, <sighs> that one particular SCP that distributes, um, I will not say distributes, oh god, how to even say what this thing does, it's disgusting. They basically use it as a substitute for pork, and it's absolutely disgusting. But basically this thing, um, I don't know if it molts, but, uh, well, never mind, uh, I, I'm gonna get sick if I think about it. I'm going to have to go back and look at that because I'm trying to remember. I know I watched this thing like a month ago, but um, at least a month ago. I'm trying to remember what it was, but it was like the King of Pigs or something like that. And the whole damn thing was just things that make you go. Ugh. Addendum SCP-294-I. Researcher punched in request for cup of gold. The machine dispensed a cup of molten gold. Researcher yeah. requested similar precious materials with the same result. Ah. They, the, it always comes from somewhere else. That's the only thing I can remember about Addendum SCP-294-J. Researcher punched in from a safe range. Request for cup of anti-water. The machine hummed briefly, then displayed out of range on entry pad. It is theorized that SCP-294 has a limited range of collection hmm. and cannot reach into alternative universes or dimensions. Addendum SCP-294-K Researcher punched in request for diamond. SCP-294 briefly hummed, then displayed out of range on entry pad. SCP-294 gives this result for all solid substances, as diamond is a solid crystalline form of True. carbon. It appears that the machine will not dispense liquid carbon as this does not result in a diamond. When a cup of carbon was subsequently punched in, the machine dispensed a cup of liquid carbon. SCP-294 was immune to the damaging effects of the dispensed liquid. Addendum SCP-294-M Testing for range of SCP-294's capacity for retrieval has been initiated. 
A unique compound has been formulated, composed of undisclosed ratios. Brand bleach. Clorox. Brand cola. RC, let's go. METRX powder. And garam masala. What the hell is garam masala and... I don't know. The fluid was created and placed in a sealed container 25 meters away from SCP-294. When requested, the fluid was dispensed. An equal amount of the mixture was no longer present in its original container. Nice. Addendum SCP-294-01. Researcher under observation of level 4 personnel. He did a request of the best drink I've ever had. It's so neat that it does SCP-294 dispensed a fluid similar in appearance to cola. The researcher identified it as a mixed drink he recalls having in a bar during his bachelor party and was convinced it was the best drink. He did not know what ingredients were in the drink besides rum and cola. Further tests are scheduled to ascertain how SCP-294 gathers information. Addendum SCP-294-01 1A. Under the same conditions, Agent, the best drink I've ever had. If I punch this in, I already know it would come out. If I punch that into this SCP, I already know it would come out. The best drink I ever had came off the coast of Spain. Um, I wasn't even to Spain yet, and uh, there was this person on a on like a basically this little ferry. There was this woman who asked if we wanted sangria, and we said yes. And she promptly started cutting all this fruit into a, into a pitcher, and then poured legitimately, I don't know how many forms of liquor into this thing, and then poured sangria in there. And sangria is boxed wine. I do not recommend attempting to recreate this drink, because I swear to God I'd probably die. But it was the best drink I ever had. SCP-294 delivered a dark fluid topped with a white foam, which was later identified as Vienna Lager. The cup was printed with a color picture of five men and two women drinking beer on a beach. It was one of them. In his briefing, Agent confirmed his favorite drink ever was a Vienna Lager he consumed at the beach with his friends. Mm -hmm. It has now been confirmed that SCP-294 has the ability to directly gather information from someone's mind in order to comply with the given conditions. Huh. Addendum SCP-294-Q-1 Subject keyed the perfect drink. The machine dispensed a cup containing an odorless lavender liquid. After drinking the liquid, subject appeared to go into shock. Subject later committed suicide, leaving a note which read, I'm sorry, but at this point, everything's just one big letdown. I don't remember this. Requesting such a drink again is highly discouraged. None of the components of the drink have yet been identified. I don't remember that. Addendum 294-T-1. The subject keyed in something Cassie will like. Hmm. The device was heard to hum for about three seconds before dispensing an empty cup. Printed on the side of the cup, was an image of a traditional soda fountain glass filled with something brown and topped with whipped cream. Upon introduction to SCP-85, it was identified by her as a chocolate banana milkshake and judged delicious. I'm confused. What's SCP-85? I feel like I should know that. Cassie. I really, really feel I should know that I'm now, now starting to kick myself for not remembering. Cassie, have I covered, have we covered Cassie? Is she the girl? No, no, because the, they keep her unconscious. Oh, God, I'm hurting now. Okay. Addendum SCP-294-W. I remember this one. Researcher keyed in a request for a cup of music. SCP-294 produced a clear sparkling fluid LSD. It tasted vaguely alcoholic. Following ingestion, subject reported feeling and not hearing a continuous rhythm, and demonstrated the ability to move and even dance with a certain fluidity that he had not previously shown. Testing on other abstract concepts is continuing. Addendum SCP-294-AB During a mass security breach, 
agent requested a cup of pertinent medical knowledge while taking shelter one. inside the second floor break room. Of the four agents in the room, Agent was the only one who was not injured. SCP-294 poured a cup of clear green liquid. Following the ingestion of this substance, Agent began mending other agents' wounds in a manner consistent with Foundation medical training. Agent no longer has the medical training that the liquid provided and other attempts to recreate the effect have failed. The agent has speculated that this event was an emergency measure taken by the object to ensure self-preservation. I don't think I remember that one. Addendum SCP-294-AC Doctor requested my life story I from SCP-294. SCP-294 made humming noises and shook violently for approximately three minutes before providing a highly viscous, opaque black liquid. Upon consumption, Dr. reported that he remembered everything that had ever happened to him. Following this test, Dr. entered his office and returned 48 hours later with a 538-page autobiography. Imagine being able to, like, some of these things are just, I, I love the creativity because imagine if you could drink a cup of your life story and remember everything to that detail. That is amazing. Addendum SCP-294 AD. Researcher produced request consisting solely of the phrase, surprise me. <laughs> Device produced an opaque cup containing normal water, later determined to have been heated to approximately 200 degrees Celsius. Upon receiving vibration from transport, the contents of the cup turned into steam, violently spraying boiling water in a 2 meter radius. Addendum SCP-294 AF Researcher produced request for Blood of Christ. Okay. SCP-294 vibrated and produced the message Hicke Anum Calix Sanguis May, then produced a paper drinking cup containing approximately 0.12 liters of red grape wine. Now, of course, Sanguis is blood. I, I don't know what the rest of that is. I will have to look at that. I will have to look at that. Just give me one. I'm going to look at that later. Sorry, guys. Addendum SCP-294 AG. Researcher produced requests for Cup of Smilodon Blood cup of passenger pigeon blood and cup of Thomas Jefferson's blood and received three out of range errors. Don't remember that one. Addendum SCP-294 AH. A D-class personnel with IQ of 99 and low curiosity scores was given written instructions about what to request. The D-class personnel produced a request for blood of Canis lupus and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as wolf blood. The D-class personnel next produced a request for saliva of Equus ferris caballus and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as horse saliva. Hmm. The D-class personnel next produced a request for urine of Fascalarctus cinereus and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as koala urine. Lovely. The D-Class personnel next produced a request for cerebrospinal fluid of Fulberomis Pattersoni and received a cup of liquid currently undergoing analysis. It is to be noted that Fulberomis Pattersoni went extinct during the late Miocene epoch approximately 8 million years ago. You see, that's odd to me because why would it be able to do that? Maybe because, no, because the Smilodon would have been, it would have been able to fill the Smilodon request. Because I was thinking maybe it got it from the Laboria Tar Pits, but apparently not. So where did it get it from? Addendum SCP 294 AI. Dr. King produced a request for a cup of room temperature superconductor <laughs> and received a cup of apple juice with seeds floating in it. Nice. Addendum SCP-294 AJ. Dr. Menchu produced request for cup of D-151839's leukemia and received a cup of fluid. 
The fluid was microscopically examined and found to contain leukemic blast cells, which were a genetic match to D151839. Oh, wow. A second request for a cup of D151839's leukemia resulted in an out of range error. D151839 was subsequently found to be free of leukemia. However, within 15 days, the leukemia had recurred. Get it? Other SCP 294 experiments are currently awaiting approval. This is one of those fun SCPs. It's not You can creepy, look forward to a future lecture with a lot more experiments. I know you guys love that. Yeah, right? I do. <laughs> I think that about does it for today. Thank you very much for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. All right, so. Um, this is one of those SCPs that's not creepy, it's not funny. Well, it, to be honest, it is funny. But at the same time, it shows the range of this stuff. It shows the range. And I love how creative the writers were with this. As far as the, um... As far as the coffee machine, I think that um, it's one of the better SCPs because of the range of things that you can do with it. The sheer fact, I want those paper cups examined. That's what I want. And what happens to the paper cups after you use all the liquid is the real question. Do they dissolve? Do they disappear? What happens to them? Um, the one guy requesting a cup of joe, that was just... Why would you do that to your buddy? Why would you do that to your pal? I don't know. And getting reprimanded, they got turned to D-Clash, and you can't convince me otherwise. This was fun listening to this from another creator. Because I was able to sit there and, like, there was only a few things in here that I don't think were covered in the other video that I watched. Um, the Cup of Pertinent Medical Knowledge. That's one. Um... I really, really, really want to find out what who Cass is. But in any case, all of the Vulcan's links are going to be in the description down below. Next to my own, including my Patreon and the pay my PayPal and my Discord, so you guys can come in and make requests for your own. Um, I think this is the only the second video I've watched on an SCP that I have some prior knowledge of. The other one being um, the Scarlet King that I watched the other day, which was decidedly... That one was really, really enlightening. Um, I, the only thing that I really wish that I had a better understanding of, um, it, in fact, the next time I see something for the Scarlet King, I'm going to bring up, um, a dis well, basically, um, Tonbull from the Discord put in what he believed to be the Scarlet King in total, as far as the Scarlet King's philosophies and the law of blood, concrete, and the howling. Um... Personally, I think he's a malal from 40k, but, you know, who's counting? In any case, thank you guys for joining me, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Go to subscribe to Vulgan and get yourself some merch. I have something coming in, and, um, yeah, you guys are going to see that soon. I got a notification that it's getting ready to be mailed, and, um, yeah, you guys will see it soon. I'll catch you guys next time. Whatever you guys do today, have some fun. And don't go requesting cups of joe from a coffee machine that'll get you a cup of anything that you want. That's just wrong. <laughs>